Good morning, folks. As we watch a little filament rip away from the western limb, we come to a day with one of the coolest animations I've ever seen, which will be useful to us in other ways down the road. We're going to run down space weather, a record gamma ray burst, take a look at more evidence from the past associated with a disaster cycle, and we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on the sun were mostly quiet in the Earth-facing longitudes, slight morphing around the southern coronal hole, but not much else. While we await the solar wind from that coronal hole, an odd signature in the solar wind took the plasma stream from anemic back up to more normal ambient levels, if only for a bit there. Even though it is a bit of a shock front, when the shock is no more powerful than normal solar wind, doesn't do much geomagnetically. We are heading to that gamma ray burst next. This one was relatively close by comparison to others, which allowed the highest energy gamma rays to actually reach the Earth. This is, once again, surprising to the scientists and forces a rethink about how these blasts actually occur. That didn't stop them from using an animation that is wholly comporting with the paradigm they are now forced to rethink, but as I often say with such animations, go ahead and tell me it's not pretty. By the way, their post-gamma burst sequence in the animation can likely be used in at least one other way to discuss some other thing that may or may not happen to our sun soon. Up next, while it is established that humans flooded into the central Tibetan region right after the last catastrophe 12,000 years ago, there was no evidence of them at that time in the southern range. Today, we get the evidence that they didn't surge into that area until right after the last half-cycle event 6,000 years ago. Dating takes the artifacts to 5,500 years old in a definitively separate surge from that which brought them to Tibet in the first place. Up next, we're going back even further in time. Cypress trees preserved under the ocean offer evidence of not one, but two of the great events in the past. First, this forest grew off the Alabama coast when sea levels were lower during the Ice Age. In fact, the forest appeared right after the Toba event about 72 to 74,000 years ago. And the area was flooded, buried, and preserved in the Hilly Nepali half-cycle magnetic event 18,000 years ago. But there's another piece to the story. What was preserved 18,000 years ago wasn't newly felled trees, but the decaying remnants of a rapid catastrophe. Something unreal took out the whole forest and mainly covered it in mud and muck around 42,000 years ago, and then 18,000 years ago the water of the oceans rose and came to cover it up. They can't even fully describe what happened, in fact multiple times saying whatever it was that did this, but observers know that's the timeline for the great environmental catastrophe of Le Champ. Their isotope dating does put it slightly more recent than the magnetic data, but with a thousand years of error for every 10,000 years into the past, it's hard to fault them too much for just using the tools in their toolbox, and they came pretty close anyway. The takeaways here are the rapid changes to the Americas region, right after the Toba event, the Le Champ event, and in the last event slash half cycle. Seems the Americas are taking the pounding every third cycle as we have to go back to Blake for the one before this. Hopefully that means this next one, or even next two events, won't be so bad in the West. Folks, our book on this topic is mostly described by observers as can't put it down. Our solar terrestrial physics textbook is currently being used in six summer session classes in the U.S. alone. And now a trilogy of Kira and Lulu is here. We've got the Milky Way book delivered to us and the trifecta of children's early learning is ready to roll. Our new store is spaceweathernews.square.site and the link to it is found right below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.